How's everybody doing? Hope everybody's staying safe with everything going on in the world right now. So I've done several videos on InfluxDB in the past. Uh, I think the last one I did was a couple of years ago. Uh, but I thought it was time to go ahead and do an updated video. I've been playing around with Grafana some and Home Assistant, and I really wanted to do a new series where we could kind of bring everything together. So this is going to be the first part of that series, which is mainly going to focus on InfluxDB. Let's check it out. So we want to be able to pull our Home Assistant data into InfluxDB. That way, whenever we set up Grafana, we'll be able to pull in all that stuff from Influx. It's actually a pretty easy setup. I noticed that they have changed some of the InfluxDB component for Home Assistant uh, since I did the previous video. So, of course, we'll make sure we use the updated information here. So let's do a quick run through of everything we're going to cover in this video. So, of course, for starters, we're going to uh, install InfluxDB in Docker. Uh, once we get that up and running and check it all out, then, of course, we will connect in with our uh, Docker container and create our database for Home Assistant. Once we have that DB created, then we are ready to add our Influx DB component into Home Assistant. And just as a last step, we want to make sure that we're seeing that Home Assistant data in uh, our Influx DB database. So let's get started. All right, so of course, uh, as you probably already know, I'm going to be using Docker Compose. Uh, to install this container. Uh, so the first part of that is we want to create a uh, Docker volume down here at the bottom. I already have a list of them there, so I'm just going to add a new one uh, at the bottom of that list. We're going to call it InfluxDB underscore data. And now I'm going to carve out a little section for uh, InfluxDB. All right, so I'm going to call it InfluxDB. Uh, the container name, of course, will be InfluxDB as well. I'm going to set the restart to uh, always. For the ports, we only need one port for this. It's 8086. That is the default for InfluxDB. So I'm going to do 8086 colon 8086 here. And then under volumes, I just want to point it at that one we just set up. So it'll be InfluxDB underscore data colon. And I'm going to point that to slash var slash lib slash InfluxDB. And I'll have all this in the uh, description below so that you can just copy and paste it. Uh, for the image, all we really need to put there is InfluxDB. Once we have all that in there, we can go ahead and save it. And then, of course, we're going to do a sudo docker-compose up-d uh, to install our uh, Docker container. And we'll kind of fast forward through this so that we're not waiting around for it to finish. Now that that is done, then we are going to jump over to Portainer just to make sure that everything looks good for our new container. As you can see, it does look uh, good there. It's pulling in uh, the right port number. It's got the right volume listed. Let's jump over to the logs. And of course, it looks like uh, from the logs, everything is at least starting up correctly. So I think we're good to go. Let's move on to that next step. All right, so now we are ready to create our Influx database uh, for Home Assistant. So first things first, we need to get into the Docker container. So we're going to do a sudo docker exec dash it Influx DB, because that's the name of the container that we're using, slash bin slash bash. And that should drop us right there at the prompt. From here, we can go ahead and start Influx. And once we're inside the Influx shell, then of course we're going to do a create database, or whatever name you want to give it. I'm going to call mine home underscore assistant. Basically, once you have that step done, then you're done. We can exit out of the Influx DB shell and of course exit out of the container as well. Let's go ahead and move on to that next step. All 
All right, so now we are ready to add our InfluxDB component into Home Assistant. So that's pretty simple to do. Uh, we're going to edit our configuration.yaml file here and find us an open spot down towards the bottom. I don't want to pull in all of my uh, Home Assistant data into InfluxDB because I feel like that's going to be overwhelming and I'm probably not going to utilize all the stuff from Home Assistant. So for starters, I'm just going to add sensor uh, data. So the name of the component is InfluxDB. Uh, for the host, it will be the IP address of my Docker host machine, which is 10.10.10.28. And then I'm going to say include domains. And the only domain that I'm worried about, like I said before, is just sensors for right now. Once I have all that in there, I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then I need to jump over to uh, the web interface here. We'll do a check config just to make sure everything looks good. And then, of course, we're going to restart Home Assistant for these changes to take effect. And we'll give that a minute to come back up. All we're waiting, we'll move on to the last step. All right, so just as a final step for the first part of this video, is we want to make sure that, since we've set everything up, that we are receiving Home Assistant data in InfluxDB. So we're going to connect back into the InfluxDB Docker container. We'll do a sudo docker exec dash it InfluxDB slash bin slash bash. Once we get in there, then of course we're going to connect to the Influx shell again. This time we're going to say use home underscore assistant because that is the database that we want to see. And then from there, we can say show series. And as you can see here, it's already pulling in all kinds of data from various entities that I have set up in Home Assistant. It's definitely not empty. Lots of dark sky data there from all the weather component stuff from dark sky. Everything looks good. I think we're good to go. That's pretty much it, guys, for this video. The first part of this video, of course, in FluxDB. So, uh, Stay tuned uh, as the next part of the video will be coming out uh, within the next few days and it will cover setting up the fauna and everything else. So that's it guys, pretty simple. Not a lot uh, to it really. It's actually a fairly quick video overall. So uh, you should be able to uh, get all this set up and uh, up and going for the first step. Let's do a quick run through of everything we covered in this video. So of course for starters, we installed our InfluxDB container in Docker using uh, Docker Compose. Uh, once we did that, we uh, created our database uh, to store all of our Home Assistant data. Once that was done, we added our InfluxDB component into uh, Home Assistant. Lastly, we just verified that all of our uh, Home Assistant data was showing up in InfluxDB. Pretty cool, huh? Again, that's the end of the video, guys, for this first part anyways. Uh, everything went pretty smoothly. It was a pretty simple setup. Again, I want to thank everybody that has donated to my Buy Me A Coffee link. And again, uh, in the description below, the link for Buy Me A Coffee is there, as well as the Teespring storefront that has all kinds of uh, BHA or Burns Home Automation merchandise. Uh, feel free to check that out and uh, see if there's anything that interests you there. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions or comments, hit me up in the comments below. As always, if there are any videos out there that you would like to see that I don't already have out there, let me know in the comments as well, and I'll see if I can't get something put together for you guys. Otherwise, I'll see you guys around. Thanks.